Oh my God, Graham. It's Billy Graham right here, 707-925 Connect. You kicking it with GK and me, Billy Graham, right now, live. Keep it lit. I'm thinking how to get through my days. Like what I gotta do to get paid. GK here, kicking it with Billy Graham. Signing with you, appreciate you. Man, yeah, my first question is, what inspired you to get into music? Oh man, what inspired me to get into music, bro? I used to listen to a lot of Michael Jackson back then. I used to listen to a lot of Michael Jackson when I was a young boy just coming up in the game, you know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson was like a, like a real, real big musical influence in mine. Like, I wouldn't say like I started off like, you know, like trying to sing and all that, but I would do like, I, I used to write poems. I used to write like a lot of poems, you feel me? And uh, just that just kind of slowly transferred into, you know what I'm saying, the hip hop, you know what I'm saying, and just writing like verses and shit like that. Just fly all in my face and shit. <laughs> nah, but I used to write hella, hella poems and hella verses. Like, that shit just kind of like, it just, it just, it was like a trickle down effect. You know what I'm saying? It just kept like building itself up. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, it was like Jackson, it was like uh, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre was like, uh, Chronic 2001 was the first rap CD that my mama let me have that had, that had cursing on it. It was for me the parental advisory sticker. That was my first gig. You know what I mean? I had like, Hella clean versions before then, like the hella, Walmart. right, right, yeah, the Walmart <laughs> versions. You feel me? Like my Harlem world was pure, pure clean version, no curse words. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, Dre, him for sure. Uh, Jermaine Dupri, like his production is like crazy. Like that always, like, like that, that just always inspired me to like get moving. Like that would always inspire me to like rap. I used to think my brother was the Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> Like everything was like hella crazy because every time Jermaine Dupri would come out with a new album, my brother would be in jail. It was like, bruh, you look just like this nigga, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. Well, all those inspirations, though, for someone who hasn't heard a Billy Graham song, heard you like featured on anything, how would you describe your sound? Is there anybody you could compare it to? Uh, man, I, I don't really compare myself to nobody. A lot of people say, like, sometimes I sound like Pusha T, I might sound like Big Sean, I might sound like. I don't know, bro. I just be trying to come with it. I just be trying to come with it. So, I mean, somebody gonna listen to a Billy Graham song, it just depends on, it depends on what it is, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I got, like, different aspects of me, you feel me? Like, I can come with uh, an introspective record, you feel me, just reflecting on, you know what I'm saying, the past, or you feel me, like, what's going on in my life. I could come up with it like, like a turn-up record, I could gas, like, crazy, like... <laughs> I ain't even gonna give you a percentage of how many of these niggas I can gas, but you know what I'm saying? But I, I could come with it, you know what I'm saying? So it really just depends on, 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 on what type of mood I'm in. So for somebody that's gonna listen to a Billy Graham record, like you're gonna hear dope lyrics, you're gonna hear a dope beat, uh, you're gonna hear like some, 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 some ill flipping of these words and these, these metaphors and these, these similes and these doubles and, and all of that. I'll be trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'll be trying to mix it up a little bit. I'm like a mixed bag, you know what I'm saying? Check me out, baby, check me out. <laughs> well, you just dropped the nights at the round table. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like it's gonna be a whole combination of stuff, but what can we expect from that? Nights at the round table and take this life. It started off like basically being like a pure smoking record. Like I wanted to do hella like West Coast and Southern, you feel me, like trap, gangster party, like smoking records, you know what I'm saying? And just over time, like with me practicing my songwriting ability and trying to like come up with different patterns and, and, and ways to formulate a song. It just it just turned into like I think like a more cohesive, like a fuller project, you know what I'm saying? So that like it's 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 it's, it's party records on that, smoking records on that, it's kicking records on that, party kicking, you feel me? Like it's it's, it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a, a song for girls on there. Uh, it's it's R and B records like I'm I'm like I got like you know what I'm saying my baby harmonizing going on like you know what I'm saying I'm trying to do my thing right I'm trying to do my thing I got like. I got this. Uh, I got this record on there called "The Offering." That's like that sounds like some like church organs. My boy Brian Tronic went in like with the, with the melodies and the pianos and all of that. So I like, guess it's, it's it's like like I said like before like I'm a mixed bag. So Nights at the Round Table is like a mixed bag. It's like it's everything. It's a, it's a variety of things. Well, you said you got production with Brian Tronic. You got yeah. any other feature production on there? Brian Tronic did the majority of the project. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Black Money. Shout out Brian Tronic. Seven Hundred Seven Gang. All that shit.
uh, he did like a, probably like eleven beats on the on the tape. It's like six, <laughs> I think it's like six. It's like sixteen, seventeen records on there. He did like eleven. We did like a nice, solid piece of the production. I got uh, Infinite Tracks. He did some production. My boy Mars TD did some production. Uh, my nigga Architects did some production. He did a record. I got uh, I got my little cousin Naughty Bo on a on a on a record. I got John Doe on the tape. I got my homie Bezel. I got my nigga Ace Car. I got Street Knowledge. Uh, man, I don't want to be giving nobody out. I got Self Made on the tape. I got uh, Wired a Gold Mine on the tape. It's a lot of people on the tape, man. It's a lot of people on the tape. Any visuals though? You don't look yeah, forward to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a, a visual for the first, for the first record that we dropping uh, off this liquor. Well, I, do, I dropped the feel like a couple of months yeah. ago just to kind of get get the get the buzz going and get it warmed up. But the first video is coming. It's off this liquor featuring Wire the Gold Mine and Self Made. Brian Tronic made that beat. We shot that video like a week and a half ago uh, in the field and in Sac. You know what I'm saying? Just running around going crazy. So that video is coming in a few weeks. So look out for that for sure. Okay. Well, where can we uh, even get that album? You can get the album, man. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, Graham dot com. Yeah. First and foremost, uh, DJ Costa Kid got it, Tesla got it. You can Google that joint, you know what I'm saying? It's on that Piff too, so it's, it's out there. It's like a couple people are just picking it up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, I'm getting a lot of love from it, you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm seeing like a lot of people picking it up and showing it some love, so it's just good. It's Gucci, you feel me? With that just dropping though, do you got any other future projects for us to look forward to? Ah, uh, man, I can't even really say right now. Like, I got some, I got some other shit I'm working on, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But, uh, well, I got the, I got the deluxe version of Nights of the Round Table. That's coming probably uh, in, the, in the next month. In the next month, uh, that's gonna come out. That's got four extra songs on that. I got Pilo on that. I got uh, Nicotine from NHT Boys, he's on that. I'm on that. I got the Phil remix with uh, Ray Guevara, uh, D Cannons, my nigga Infamous Kaboom. They on that, you know what I'm saying? So, so the deluxe of the Knights at the Round Table is really that that's the first thing to look for. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll talk about everything else from there. You know what I'm saying? I just I ain't trying to like let the cat out of the bag all the way. Right, exactly. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Right, exactly. Where can the world find you online? Oh man, at Billy Graham on Twitter, oh my god, Graham on pretty much everything else, Snapchat, Instagram, Vine, uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook.com slash Billy Graham, that's where I'm at. Uh, yeah, check out ohmygodgram.com, that's pretty much the central hub, everything from Pac-Man, we got the new Jones coming, you know what I'm saying, the baby apparel, you see me, you know what I'm saying, young Pac-Man, Yang Dao, all the shit, 707. Any shout outs you want to make? Ah, man. <laughs> Shout out 707, man. Shout out to the city. GK, what we drink? We out. Drinking so much like I got a fucking time limit. Yeah, yeah, all this drink got my mind spinning. Yeah, all this drink got my mind spinning. Wow. I'm off the slipper. So rock all in my system. Rachel's by a couple bottles. Now these hoes just want to.